how would you describe this employee? All right, so whenever I ask for feedback from my manager, he repeats his answer saying, do I need to explain A to Z all the time? Why don't you think and act by yourself? That makes me feel discouraged. I wasn't sure if I can translate it, it, it into A to Z because I had to translate this in, from Korean to English. But um, do I have to explain all the details? That was the meaning, step-by-step -step, step details. Like, why don't you do it um, by yourself? So we have some questions. Um, one, actually one statement was, it sounds like they're impatient. Um, and then another statement question was, is this a new employee? This is not a new employee. Um, she's been uh, here for more than five years. Uh, manager equals impatient, employee equals lack of confidence. Um, employer is, employee is eager for wanting this feedback, eager to learn, but now discouraged. Um, has this behavior been going on for five, over five years or going on for five years? Mm -hmm. um, Employee may have a bit of a fixed mindset, but the manager is probably not approaching it appropriately either. Uh, another statement that came through is, I'm wondering why the manager does not simply offer a job aid to the employee and then refer the employee to the job aid if the employee asks how to do something. Uh, not supportive, dismissing, not doing his or her job or providing feedback. Also communication is an issue, it's good to to think and act by themselves, delegate, ask for their opinion, let them make decisions, but you have to empower them and show support, not be sharp and sound and angry. The employee is simply reaching out for help because the manager is not doing his or her job to clearly explain how to do the job. With clarity comes confidence. I'm gonna put in my experience, it takes some time to make a useful job aid. If it won't get reused quite a bit, then perhaps that's not worth the time. Like how do we make balance between empowerment, like providing autonomy to employees versus, um, you know, we normally say micromanaging is not good, let's empower uh, employee, we do shared leadership, um, let's give employees responsibility and autonomy to do certain things. Uh, whereas, you know, you give direct job aids and you follow this job aid, um, this is direction I'm giving, um, so it's really hard to make a balance between those two. Um, is there any good strategies that your organization use to handle these issues or how do you think this manager has to approach whereas the um, employee has to re approach to this manager? Which, is there any good strategy that you can share? So a comment came in, um, mm -hmm. It, it says it does sound like there is no, not clear communication from the manager. The employee is asking for clarity and the manager's response does not seem to be promoting understanding and two-way communication. So it, it has to be both ways that um, probably manager also communicate clearly as well as employee asking for clarity. Um, so we had some more comments come in, Dr. Han. It said it would be interesting if the manager practiced having a growth mindset when he felt impatient with the reoccurring requests from an employee. And then, so this is um, interesting also, leadership style is like situational leadership on steroids. Um, and then this seems to be a classic situational leadership dilemma. So as a manager, we are dealing with so many tasks and um, sometimes, you know, giving feedback to subordinates or employees that, that really takes a lot of um, their time. So probably they're not putting that into their priority task to do. We have a couple more comments that came through. Um, the team members could have a discussion of their individual needs from the team and come to consensus on how they agree to support each other. Uh, leadership styles takes into account intended outcomes, context, and personal strength. Yeah, actually setting the team expectation is really um, big thing right now and normally they put the team charter between manager and individuals working for him um, to um, set the expectation and consensus on how they you know agreed to support each other and that's really great point 
And Alicia, do you remember about leadership style um, article that John probably talk about those leadership style in terms of connected to um, growth mindset? Do you recall that? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was um, an actual article that um, tried to correlate the growth mindset concept with some um, leadership styles that people were more familiar with. So it looked at the transformational leadership um, that had positive attitudes to their employees, especially when it came to employee error learning. And so they wanted to correlate that with that growth mindset. Um, and then you had the transactional leadership, that, which may have fallen into maybe a fixed mindset. Um, but this type of leadership, they only provide rewards contingent upon expected effort. So they already kind of have a preconceived, maybe systematically biased against a, an employee or uh, someone on their team. And so they're going to only reward them um, after they get their expected results back. And then there was that liaison fair leadership. And then this particular leadership style, um, it didn't fall into either category, but it did say that they avoid involvement. So it avoids involvement altogether um, when it comes to, you know, directing and, and being involved um, and moving the team into a different direction. So they actually said that leadership style compared to the other two was the worst out of all of them. A couple more comments that came through. Um, actually, when I'm sorry, to be fair, the manager did indeed give the employee feedback, not optimal or nicely, but it was feedback. Yes, definitely. I mean, the style of feedback is also a key component. So how do you give feedback? Um, the style or way of providing feedback is really critical these days. So the approaches when you provide feedback, um, you, you know, of course, positive, constructive, but sometimes people can feel the manager's emotions or um, emotions or negative responses behind that by nonverbal cues. So it's also important to um, put your feedback to be very um, empathetic and positive and constructive at the same time. So. Um, you know, communication and feedback seems to be um, more complicated than um, it seems like so.